Good day students, I am your teacher for today, Teacher Jiwo. So, it's great to see you today. So, may I ask, how are you? It's nice to hear that. So, are you ready for our discussion? Okay, if that's the case, then we'll start. So, we will learn about the days of the week. So, what did you see on, on the screen? Okay, it's a calendar. So, do you know how many days are there in a week? Let's count to know if how many days are there in a week. So, 1, Sunday, 2, Monday, 3, Tuesday, 4, Wednesday, 5, Thursday, 6, Friday, and 7, Saturday. So, how many days are there in a week? Correct! There are 7 days in a week. So, do you know what are the days of the week? Listen as I say the names of the day and repeat after me. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Very good. Next. The days which are known as the weekdays are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So, these are also known as the five working days. Next. While Saturday and Sunday are known as the weekends. Next. So today, I am going to have an assessment for you. So let's see if you remember the days of the week. So I'll read the questions and answer me correctly. One, how many days are there in a week? That's right, there are seven days in a week. Number two, what day comes after Friday? Correct, it's Saturday. Three. What day comes after Wednesday? Yes, it's Thursday. Number four. What day comes after Tuesday? Very good, it's Wednesday. Number five. What day comes after Monday? You're right, it's Tuesday. Number six. What days are known as the weekends? Correct, it's Sunday and Saturday. Next. Seven. What days are known as the weekdays? Very good. The days are known as weekends are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So, that will be the end of our discussion for today. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to communicate with me. So, I hope you learned something from our discussion. Thank you and God bless! So, hi! Good day, my dearest pupils! Today, I will be having another discussion. But before that, let me introduce myself first. So, I am Teacher Vanessa, or you can call me Teacher Van. Okay? Okay, so let's proceed to our discussion. So, what have you noticed about this picture? Mm, yes, a calendar, but have you noticed? that there are stars in each number? All right, very good, Brent. So today, I will be discussing all about parts of the week. So, 
in a week, there are seven days. <gasps> seven days. So, what are the parts of the week? So, okay. Now, um, the parts of the week. So, let's have a Monday, a Tuesday, a Wednesday, a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and a Sunday. So, a week can be any period of seven days. Very good. So, this is very easy, right? Right, pupils? So, now, um, you know what a day is and a seven days. So, one week is equivalent of seven days. Very good, students. Very good. So, you did a great job today. Congratulations. Okay, pupils. Um, that's it for today. I hope you learned something from our discussion. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Our topic today will be about the month. We will talk all about the month. So let me introduce myself again. I am Teacher Thea. I am your math teacher. Again, you can call me very good teacher Thea. Now again, we will talk about the month. Very good class. So we have here, can you read it to me? We have here January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Very good class. So can you please tell me what today is? Can you please raise your hands? Yes, Anavi. Very good. Today is October 2, 2021. Very good. So a month is about 30 days long, but some months can be even longer and some months are even shorter. Um, so now I will give you an example of a month that has longer days and a month that has shorter days. So we have here March and February. We have here March. Can you count the days in March? Yes, March has 31 days. Thank you, Anthony. Can you now please count the days in February? Thank you, Stephanie. We have 28 days. 28 days in February because in a common year, February only has 28 days. And during leap year, which happens every four years, um, it has 29 days. The 29th day is called leap day. Very good, class. Thank you. Now, let's proceed to the months. January has 31 days, February has 28 days in a common year, and 29 days in leap year, and so on and so forth. We have here March, April, May, and June. We also have here July, August, September, October, November, and December. So now I will teach you how to identify the month, the days in a month using your knuckles. As you can see there, we have January for your first knuckle. January has 31 days. Next is down your knuckle, we have February, which has 28 days. And so on and so forth using your knuckle and the lower part of your knuckle. You count them. 
very good. So I'm going to ask you a question. But since you are a very good student, you can just do this as your assignment. I will send this to you later. Okay, we have here, can you name 31 days, 30 days? And can you name the month that has 28 days? So again, class, thank you so much for listening and have a good day ahead. So hi, good day my dear pupils. Today, we are having a discussion. But before that, let me introduce myself first. I am Miss Stephanie Marie Lim, or you can call me Teacher Steph. Is that okay? Okay. So moving on our, on our next slide. Okay. What comes to your mind when you see the picture? Anyone? What comes to your mind? Okay. So 2021 or 2020 is a year. Very good. Next. We are going to discuss today the parts of the year. So, the parts of the year includes January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. So, parts of the year. So, one whole year is consists of 12 months. And one third year consists of four months and one fourth year is called three months and one twelfth year is called one month so i know my dear pupils the other week we have discussed about the months of the year so today i hope you understand well the parts of the year so any question or are you confused okay so moving on we have a little recap that please bear in mind that one year is equivalent to 12 months okay and we are done. Job well done, my dear pupils. See you next time. Goodbye.